In this unit, we're talking about water and mineral acquisition and transport in plants. Uh, before we get into that, the details of that, we need to understand that there are two major groups of plants, the non-vascular and the vascular. The non-vascular plants have no transport tissues. tissues. They tend to be small and inconspicuous. And an example of these are these liverworts here, which are very small and hardly noticeable. Vascular plants have transport vessels for water, sugars, and minerals, and these are the most conspicuous plants on the planet. They include grasses, trees, cacti, herbs, etc. Vascular tissues are specifically for transporting things, such as water and sugars. Xylem is specifically for transporting water and minerals. So water and minerals diffuse into a plant through the root cells, through the root system, and then up into the rest of the plant through a process called cohesion tension. And this is interesting because it brings in the properties of water that we talked about in an earlier unit in that water has a high cohesion attachment with itself and a high adhesion attachment to other objects. So basically, the way water moves up in a plant, even one as high as a 100 foot tall redwood, is that the cohesion and the tension are pulling the water molecules up through the plant as water vapor is lost out the top. So check your supplementary reading materials for more information about plant transport.